All right, today we're going to be working on Got It Project for Chapter 7, 7-1. Uh, uh, as with all of the SimNet assignments, uh, we, we have the three steps. Uh, step number one is to download the files. Now this is going to be different from the majority of the assignments that we've done uh, for the rest of this course because it has an additional file that we have to download. So we always download the required file. So there's going to be three files that we download. The first required file is going to be the resources file. Then the second one is going to be the start file. And then the third one is going to be the instructions file. So make sure you download all three of those files. All right, so after you download all three of the files, you're going to have to unzip the uh, resource file the way that you know that it's a, a compressed uh, file or a zip file is you go to wherever it was downloaded to for my computer it's downloaded under this PC downloads in the this PC downloads folder a um, couple things you can look at you can look at this little icon here the little folder icon you might not be able to see it very well but that's a zipper a silver zipper that's uh, included with that icon also if you look over in the type field you see it says compressed or zip folder so whenever you have that you need to be in the mindset that you want you have to extract it or unzip the files that are in there to do that you could either just select the file so I have it deselected I'm, I'm not I don't have the folder selected right now so I want you to pay attention to the the menu option to the right of view once I click on the folder once I click on the folder you see that there's a new menu option called compressed folder tools extract so once you do that you could either click extract extract all but if you want to see what's in the folder before you extract it you just double click on the folder and you can see that there's a file called album art in there so that's how you see exactly what's in there and if you wanted to you could you could extract that file from there so I'm gonna see where this puts it uh, Where did it put it? There it is. Yep, there it is. Alright, so I want you to pay attention to this folder. You see there's no zipper folder or no zipper icon on the, uh, the folder icon. And also in the type field, you see it says file folder. So that would be if you, I'm going to select both of them and you can compare the unzipped folder to the zipped or compressed folder. So you see the icon has the little zipper there. You see it says compressed zip file, zip folder. And then for the one that has been unzipped or uncompressed, you see it just says file folder. All right. So after you do that, you can open up your instructions file as well as your start file all right so step one is complete step two is complete step three is complete all right step four says build the main form click the form design button which is located in the create tab and then the forms group so I'm going to go to the create tab I'm going to my forms group and I'm going to click form design and before I click on it just hover over it it'll tell you exactly what that ribbon does so it says create a new blank form and design view that's what that does All right, so we're gonna move this over a little bit I'm trying to give myself as much space in the middle as possible uh, that's not going to work. No, just do it like this. Alright. Click the add 
existing fields button which is located in the form design tools design tab so we we'll go form design tools design tab I have the property sheet open right now so let's go ahead and click that and then we're going to go click on show all tables so one thing I want you to pay attention to here as well when you clicked on that show all tables you see it's two tables here and if you look in your navigation pane you see two tables here so we're going to be pulling data from the two tables that were recently created click the plus symbol next to the albums table so I'm going to click the plus symbol and it wants me to double click album ID album name and album artist so I'm going to double click album ID double click album name and double click artists all right so that takes care of 4d 4e 4f 4g now it tells me to close the field pane so I can do it by clicking on the little X in the right hand corner or click it you know it's selected now I can just click it in the forms design tools design tools group I just click it and it goes off all right next So save the form as song listing on albums by artists. All right, five says add header and footer sections, label controls, and adjust the size of the sections right click inside the detail section to open the context menu so a right mouse click in the detail section I know this is the detail section because if you look right above album ID it says detail and it's kind of highlighted so it's in black so it's highlighted so a right mouse click in there I'm gonna select form header footer And one thing, uh, the difference between the form header footer or the page head footer, this is pretty much for this form. This is going to be for the document. The page header footer is usually if you want to put a header or footer for the, the whole document. The form header footer is just for this particular form. All right. Open the property sheet and click the format tab if necessary. So you can do this uh, a few different ways. You could either go to the form design tools design tab in the tools group and select property sheet or you can press alt enter or you can press F4. So I generally like to use the F4 to open up the property sheet and it tells me to open uh, it's already for in the format tab so we don't have to worry about that five D says choose form in the selection type box if necessary and add and enter 7.5 in the width so this is the selection type box here it's currently it currently has detail selected so I'm gonna just select form and now I'm in the form back in the detail you see the detail but I need to go up to the form so now I'm in the form and it says enter 7.5 for the width right now the width is set to 6.16 so we need to change that to 7.5 And then next it says choose the detail in the selection type box and enter four inches as the height. So let's uh, select detail. And the height is currently 5.25. We need to change that to four inches. All right. Choose the form header. 
And we'll go here, form header. And it says change the height property to 0.8. So currently it's set to 0.25, so I'm gonna change it to 0.8. So you see that got bigger. 5G says add a label control in the form header section and enter songs on my albums into the label. Add a label control. There we go. And we're just going to put it anywhere in the form, form header. We'll make any necessary changes. says with the label selected so right now it's not really selected now it's selected it's the name that it has is label 3 if you need to select it in here so now I have it selected we're going to enter 1.8 as the width it's right around 1.8 right now but all right we changed to 1.8 the height is 0.3 the top is 0.2 the left is 2.25 and the font size is 14 and we want the font weight to be bold so that takes care of 5H. Have your hover, your pointer on the lower border of the form footer until the resize arrow appears. All right, resize. Click, hold, and drag resize to decrease the height of the section so no space remains. All right, and that takes care of 5i, 5j. All right, 5k says change your, save your changes to the form. So I'm going to save. We, we're going to move on to step six. Modify the controls in the details section of the form. Select the album ID label. So we're going to select the label and not the text box for album ID. This is the label here. Right click to open the context and select delete. So we're gonna select, we're gonna right mouse click on it and we're gonna select delete. Now we're gonna select the album ID text box which is this right here. Change the visible property to no and the top property to point 0.1 so let's go to visible right now it's um, it's set to yes it says set it to no so we're going to set visible to no and for the top property we want it to be point 0.1 We need this field to have a relationship some form, but it's not useful. All right, so there's a reason why we're, we're, we have this included in the form, but it doesn't need to be visible in the form. So, all right, select the album name text box, album name text box, change the width to 3.2. 3.2 the top property is 0.4 the left property is 1.4 select transparent border style yep, 
transparent. I'm trying to make this a little bit wider. And let's see on the other tab. So let's go to the other tab. And the tab stop property, select no. Alright, that takes care of 6E, 6F, 6G says select the album name label, click the format tab, change the caption property to album, so I could either double click in here and, and change it or it's much easier to change it in the property sheet under caption. Alright. And then we want the width. I think that just moved that. I think I just made a mistake and moved this. This is 3.2, top is 0.4, left is 1.4, all right, so that takes care of that. Right for text align, uh, text align. All right, that takes care of six H. Select the artist text box. So I'm going to select the artist text box and change the width to one point five. The top property is going to be 0.7 and the left should be 1.4. Select transparent for the border style. On the other tab, turn off the tab stop. Select the artist label, click on the format tab, we're going to change this to read recording artists, there's a space in between there, the width is going to be 1.1. The top property is 0.7. The text align is going to be right. And it looks like that's all we need to change for 6J. 6K says with the label still selected, press and hold the shift key. And then it wants me to select the album label. And then we're going to, let me see, that takes care of that. And it says click the align button, which is located in the form, design tabs, arrange. And the sizing and order group. And it says select the line. And right. 
your form should look similar to figure 7-95 don't worry about the location of the album ID field since it is not visible to the users alright so comparing what I have to figure 7-95 it looks like everything is set up properly alright and then 6M says save and close the form so I'm gonna say I'm gonna save and I'm gonna close the form alright 7 says build the sub form select the songs table in the navigation pane so I'm gonna select that click the more forms button which is in the create tab in the forms group more forms and then select the data sheet to open a new form in the data sheet view so that's 7a 7b 7c says position the pointer over the song ID right click to open the the context menu so we're gonna get rid of the song ID field now uh, before I do this I want you to know that we are not working in the songs table we are working in the forms the songs form um, the way that you know the difference is if you look at form the form name up here songs look at the icon and compare it to the one that says songs in the tables so just know that you're making changes to the to the form that's called that's named songs and not the table that's named songs so we're going to delete that field 7d says position the pointer over the album ID right click that and delete this since you don't need to include the foreign key in the sub form so this must be the, the foreign key so we're going to delete the album ID as well Alright, now we're going to switch to design view. You can do that a couple different ways. You could either go to the data sheet, go to views, change it to design view here, or I usually use the icons down here at the bottom. So you have your data sheet and your, you have your design view. So either way works. select the song title text box so I'm gonna select just the song title text box I know that I have the, the song title text box because you see the orange border around the text box for song also if you look in the property sheet that's open selection type is text box and you see that it says song title there alright it says enter 4.6 for the width so I'm going to enter 4.6 and choose form in the selection type box and enter 6 inches in the width. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to select form and I'm going to go down to the width and I'm going to enter 6 inches. Choose detail and change that height to 2.5 inches. All right, it says save the form as songs sub form. So I'm going to right mouse click on the songs form tab, select save. And it wants me to name this songs sub form. Click OK. Alright. 7J says switch to the data sheet view. The form should look similar to the form shown in figure 7-96. So this time instead of selecting the data sheet view down here, I'm actually going to go up to form design tools, design tab, and I'm going to select data sheet.
it's also on the home the home tab as well so you have a couple different places all right and I'm going to compare what I have in my my file to what's in figure 7-96 and so far it looks good now it says close the form I'll close the form that takes care of number seven number eight says add the sub form onto the main form we're going to open the song listing on albums by artist form in the design view so we're going to go back to our file we're going to right mouse click on our form song list song list on albums by artists and we're going to select design view so now it automatically opens it up in design view um, you can actually just double click on the form you see what it looks like and just change it change the view to design view whichever way you're comfortable with doing it you can do it that way 8b says click the use control wizard which is located in the form design tools design tab controls group that and click inside the detail all right there we go that takes care of 8 B 8 C all right uh, click inside the detail form change that I won't do that yet so use an existing form yes. select the sub forms and click next accept choose from a list and the highlighted show statements and click next Accept the suggested name and click finish to add the subform. Alright, so it wants me to put this in the details section near the one and a half width tick. So about right there and right there. So I'm looking I'm looking here up here. For the half half inch and then I'm looking an inch from the bottom so put it here so that's how you know where to put this at all right so that takes care of all of that we're going to change the we're going to save the form now we're going to switch to the layout view we can either do it up here in the form design tools design tab up under the views group we can select it there or we can select it down here or we can go to the home and change it there so a lot of different ways all right so it says even though the visible property is set to no click the next record arrow in the navigation bar on the main form to advance to the next record so not the sub form you want to go to the main form and select next and you see it changes the recording artists as well as their song list and you can also go inside of the sub form and select the different songs you can navigate through there all right uh, that takes care of that i'm gonna 
Moving on to number nine, customize the subform to adjust field widths and remove the border navigation bar and label. All right. Type 40 in the current record box in the navigation bar of the main form and press enter. So that's here. We're going to type 40. It's going to take me to the 40th record or 40th album and press enter. So now you see that I'm on record number 40 of 44. And also if you look up here, you see it says 40. Scroll down in the subform until the chieftains in orbit with NASA astronaut Cody Coleman's song is visible. So, right there. This song has the longest title in the database. The entire, the entire title should be visible in the text, which it is. Now we're going to switch to design view. Open a property sheet and click the format tab if necessary. Property sheet is almost op already open and we're at the format tab. We're going to choose the song. It's already it's already selected song sub subform and enter 5.6 for the width property select transparent in the border style click the select all box in the sub form to select the sub form figure 7-97 so it's saying select this so this button here that selects all and the select all box in the sub form updates to display a black square so that's how you know you have the the whole sub form selected this little black box tells you that you have it all selected select no in the navigation buttons property so we're going to go to navigation buttons no click the sub forms label all right i have the sub form label selected we're going to delete that you don't have to really right mouse click you can just hit the delete key on your keyboard but because it says we want to open the contacts menu and select delete that's what we'll do save the form if access displays a message box that the main form has changed since you opened it click yes to save the changes so I'm going to save it I didn't receive that message so we're okay switch to the form view data sheet that's layout there's the form view all right form view verify the border that the border navigation bar and label have been removed all right navigation bar has been removed from the sub form click the next record arrow all right the scroll bar disappears because the songs on the seeds from the underground all fit so we go back so you see you have a scroll bar here with the Taylor Swift 1989 album but once you go to the next one since all of the songs fit you don't have that scroll bar all right that takes care of number nine I'm going to go ahead and do a control S to save. All right. We are on step 10. Add a calculated control onto the sub form and enter an aggregate function. Switch to design view. 
we're going to click the detail section right click inside the detail section open the context menu and select form header footer to add those sections to the sub form Click, hold, and drag the vertical scroll bar on the sub form down to the form. Okay. All right. So that's that. Hover your pointer on the bottom border of the form footer. Let me get back to that. Hover your pointer on the bottom border of the form section and then click and hold and drag down to increase the height of that section to approximately 0.5. Right, so. so right now we need to move this to there. That should be a half of an inch. Add a text box control to the form footer of the sub. So we go here, here, text box. Open it and go to the data. Yep. And we're going to click on the build button, which is the little three dots. And we're going to type equals count parentheses bracket song title bracket parentheses and I can't spell count. All right, and then click OK. Take care of that one. And it takes care of this one. Enter in the name property of the other tab. So name. So we want sub form song title counts. All right, it says delete the label that was added in the text box as it is not needed. Save the form. So I'm going to get rid of the label. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to save the form. Add a text box to the main form and reference a control from the sub form. So we're going to add a text box control to the right of the artist name so we need to need to move my thing over and we're gonna put it to the right of the artist name so right here adding a text box here so let's go ahead and put it right there probably need to move it over a little bit so we can see that label We're going to switch here and we're going to click the build button and we're going to enter equals bracket songs sub form bracket period bracket form bracket exclamation bracket sf song title count bracket we're going to click 
OK after we make sure that we typed everything in there correctly. All right, click OK. We're going to click the Form tab, Format tab. The width is going to be 0.3. The top is going to be 0.7. The left is going to be 5. And the border style is transparent. And then go to the other tab and no to the tab stop. So that should be everything. Click the label control of that text box. So that's this. And click the format tab. And enter total number of songs. Total number of songs in the caption and change the width to 1.5, the top 0.7, the left 3.5. And I think that's it. On that tab, total number of songs. Actually, change the width to 1.5. The top changed to 0.7. And the left changed to 3.5. And then we're going to save the form. So we're going to move on to step 12 where it says enhance the look of the form. Before we do any type of enhancements, we're just going to go to the form view so you can see what it looks like before. What we're about to do, it should change the look of it. And we're going to go back to the design view. Choose the form and the section. So the selection box, so we're going to click on the form so now we're going to be changing everything inside of the form uh, 7.5 in the width it's already there all right so it's already changed 7.5 click the themes button which is located in the form design tools uh, design tab we'll go over to themes we're going to click theme and we're going to click the integral theme, the fourth button in the first row. So we go to the first row, fourth button, there we go. Depending on your computer settings, the number buttons may display in a, a different order. The form updates to apply this new theme. So we're going to click on that. That takes care of B, C. Next, we're going to click the Insert Image button to open the Image Gallery dialog box. All right, now we need to go to wherever that resource file was um, extracted to mine was in the downloads and I'm in the 7.1 or 7-1 resource folder and I need to put that in there click OK move the pointer to the left so we're gonna do it here and we're just gonna make it that big we're gonna make uh, changes to it so that takes care of D, takes care of E. Takes care of F. All right, set the following properties for the image. 0 0.5, point 0.15, excuse me. 0 0.15 for the top. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. 
five for the top. Point five for the left. All right, so just those two things. All right, that takes care of G. Choose form header in the selection type box and enter one inch. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna select form header. The height is going to be one. Click the label control in the form header. Point three. Top is point three. And two point two five, that's already set. Choose the form. Form. 6.5, enter 6.5 as the width. All right, we're gonna save. And we're gonna, before we close this, so you see the difference, the after, once you go to your form view, you'll notice the difference in the look of the form. All right, so that takes care of J and K. And I need to close. All right, 13 says open the song listing on albums by artist form in form view. So that's this here. We're going to we're just going to double click on it. And it's already in form view. The completed form displays, click the next record arrow in the navigation bar of the main form to advance to the next record. Verify that the sub form updates to display 10 songs on Kenny Garrett's Seeds from the Underground album and that your form looks similar to 7-99. So if I go next, I have 10 songs from Kenny Garrett, Seeds from the Underground. I know it's 10 songs because it says number of songs here. All right, so that takes care of 13A. And close. 14 says close. We're gonna close, close that. And we're going to upload our project and we're gonna upload this. We always, I always search by date modified or I sort by date modified. I'll have the, the most current date at the top. And we see today's date and we see the time. So we, we're pretty sure that this is the file that we want to upload. And then we'll submit for. All right, so it says I, I have some things that I need to correct couple of minor things says it wasn't added I find that hard to believe but I can correct that and resubmit it and everything should be good Yeah, I mean, it even says that it's used. It says it in this database in a row, used by database. But for some reason, it's saying it's not added. SimNet is a little confused. 